Hey, good morning, guys. It is just 10 after 6 or so, and November 5th, we are just south of Manitowoc. Today, we're going to target lake trout and possibly brown trout in a rocky area that we fished in the spring. And hopefully, if all goes well, we'll tag into a few. Let's get out on the water. Lake Michigan that's pretty rare so uh, we're just south of Manitowoc there's an area south of here that uh, starts to get rocky compared to the rest of the shoreline here that is a lot of miles of nothing but sand and uh, that can attract lake trout and brown trout that we have targeted in the spring this will be my first time if we catch a lake trout so uh, just kind of hoping we can get into that.
what a beautiful morning.
Well guys, we're, we've been out here for about an hour. Marked a few fish here and there. Been sticking, I've been sticking to anywhere is 10 feet to 20 feet. We're gonna shoot out towards the 20 to 40 feet and uh, see if we can't get into something. Beautiful morning though, what a beautiful day. It's just beautiful to be out here today. All right, the number one thing I love about the Hobie Passports is the Mirage Drive. And the simple reason is they're just so efficient. Um, they're easy to use, easy to adjust, but most importantly, they're very powerful. Um, here we are cruising along at 2.2 miles per hour. I have as many rods as I can legally. I have, I've got one out here with a four inch diver and uh, that causes a lot of drag, no problem. On the rod to my right, I have a 10 ounce clip on weight with a Dodger fly combo. Again, both items take quite a bit of drag, no problem. And then out to the side, I have a planer board and another four ounce weight and a big spoon hanging off of that. So thanks Hobie for uh, designing this wonderful transportation system. We're out here in a kayak and doing just exactly what we would do in a boat. Look at that, I think it's a salmon. This is what we came for. This is not a salmon. <laughs> this is a lake trout and it's a big one. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna get this guy in the net? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I left the big net at home. Oh my goodness. This is going to be something. That is a nice lake trout. First one I've caught in the kayak ever. And uh, wow, I know they get this big, but I didn't think I'd get one. What a beautiful morning. Um, let's see, it is now 10 to nine, a little overcast. Wind's kicking up a little bit. I'll give this probably another half hour, but uh, I'm not too far from where I started. We're gonna go from there and uh, just be happy we got a, one nice fish today. All right, fish number two on.
that's more the size I thought I was fishing for this morning. Wow, what a what a nice day. <laughs> it's been amazing. I'm gonna turn this off and uh, get things set up. Well, that's a pretty good morning. Yeah, that smaller fish is more the size I was thinking I was fishing for today. That big lake trout. <laughs> It's a monster. Uh, he'll make hopefully good fish boil or maybe we'll get him smoked. Uh, got a couple options there I'm thinking. But uh, <laughs> again, when it's nice out here, you can get out here and just enjoy yourself. Uh, there's nobody around and fish are biting. So. I think I'll be wrapping it up shortly regardless. I don't want to keep these guys out too long. The temperature is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit and getting warmer. And uh, I want to keep these guys fresh. So it's been fun. Thanks for joining us. Uh, the one hit a uh, an orange spoon off of a planer board with four ounces of weight. And then the smaller one actually was the one that took the uh, spin and glow is what they call them. A little twirly thing uh, behind a small orange and, and black dotted dodger. Oh man, <laughs> this is a wonderful fish. Can't wait to get him on the grill or smoke. We're gonna talk about that when we get home, but nice big fish again thanks for uh, joining us on Hafe kayaking this is dan hope to see you out on the water mm -hmm.